Hi, my name is Dr. Chelsea O'Toole. I'm one of the third year diagnostic imaging residents at the Schwartzman Animal Medical Center. And my project is on the radiographic features or x-ray features of subungual keratoacanthomas in dogs. During my residency, we saw a couple patients come in with these tumors or masses on their digit or on their toe. And they looked really strange. They had these really thickened claws. And when we took x-rays of their paws, we would see that there was lysis or what we would call destruction of bone associated with these tumors. We found out that these patients that came in had a very rare type of tumor called a subungual keratoacanthoma, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, but they're not only rare, but they're actually benign. Um, and so it's kind of interesting because most of tumors that we see associated with the toe or digit in dogs are aggressive and malignant. Um, you know, they're a cancerous process that we need to worry about because they can spread to other parts of the body um, and potentially have a poor prognosis. So I wanted to further investigate this type of tumor, which can look really scary and aggressive on an x-ray, but is actually a benign tumor in which surgery is curative. We looked through the medical records of AMC over the past nine years and we found that there were seven dogs that came in through AMC's doors that had this very rare but benign type of tumor on their digit. Um, so we basically described what the radiographic features were or what the that type of tumor looks like on x-ray. I think the main benefit of the research that I did was just to tell veterinarians, have them be aware that, hey, there's this other type of tumor we can see on the digit or toe of dogs that doesn't have a terrible prognosis. It is a, a rare type of tumor, but just to not automatically see a tumor on the toe of a dog and think, oh no, this is gonna be something really, really terrible. Our location in New York City brings a lot of patients through our doors. So we get to see so many different patients from all walks of life with all sorts of different diseases, different problems that in another part of the country or part of the world, we might not be as exposed to um, with as great a frequency. So I think that really helps prepare veterinarians that are specializing and training to get a very in-depth knowledge of what kind of crazy things can happen to our pets and really be prepared since we will have seen it all just by working at the AMC.